LGBT issues have come to the forefront of society's attention in recent years, as this is one of the fastest movements seen in history today, changing our country's support for the LGBT community in a positive direction in just over two decades. Between 1985 to 2008, the LGBT movement went from a small decentralized group to a core set of large national civil rights organizations. In the late 1970s, the LGBT movement started acquiring national attention in San Francisco's Castro District, one of the first gay neighborhoods in the United States, when Harvey Milk became the first openly gay man elected to a high-profile office and became a symbol for LGBT rights when he was later gunned down. Another incident bringing rise to the LGBT community took place at the University of Wyoming in 1998, when openly gay student Matthew Shepard was beaten, tied, and left for dead. The Matthew Shepard and James Byrd Jr. Hate Crimes Prevention Act was signed to law in 2009 because of this incident. It adds federal protection against crimes based on gender, disability, gender identity, and sexual orientation. Today, our media portrays several personalities and figures who are major role models and supporters in and of the LGBT community. National figures such as comedic television host Ellen DeGeneres and notable NFL defensive player Michael Sam generated the idea of acceptance of the LGBT community. That's why here at the University of Wisconsin-Whitewater, they strive to provide resources and exemplify acceptance of diversity. Several students feel that Whitewater does show great support for the LGBT community. And uh, I really just think uh, more people, if they're scared to come out, it's okay. There's people that will accept you for it, and there's always people going to support you. Oh, I do feel like it's a very strong community. I feel like it's very accepted here on campus. I personally think it's pretty accepting, like the community is. I know I'm really accepting of it, and I think that they have a solid, like, support space where they can feel comfortable, and I mean, I feel like once people are in college, they should be more accepting of people that are different, and if this is, if that is something that's different for them, they should be able to accept it. It's beautiful through uh, certain entities such as media that they've been more greatly accepted because if we're talking about now we're living in 2014, let's say the 70s, 80s, they were so, you know, it was so taboo. A lot of them was scared to represent themselves because they were so shunned by society. So it's definitely a good cause for them to be stepping up to the plate and having a platform where they're more accepted by the world. And it's beautiful what we're in a world where at least the Supreme Court is trying hard to pass laws to make sure that if two individuals care for one another, regardless of is it a man or a woman, shouldn't be the issue. Love is love and caring is for an individual is caring for an individual. So it's beautiful that they pass certain laws to allow certain states to allow them to get married. And so do certain, also certain uh, celebrities such as Ellen, and the generous, they just show that they, they have definitely took a long, and her willingness to step up to the plate, she opened up the door for the uh, sport entertainers that recently also came out of the closet. And, I, and it's, it's sad to even say that term, and I want to even re, re, root that, uh, rebuttal that and say that they're, they're stepping up and willing to you know, represent themselves because should no individual under no circumstances be in the closet, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's a bad term, you know? So it's just great that we as a human race community embrace any individual. I think there's no, no right or wrong when it comes to someone's sexual orientation. You're either a good person or a bad person. You could be straight, you could be gay, you could be lesbian. That's not, if you're a good person, you're a good person. You're a bad person, you just suck, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, I definitely support anyone that's, that's uplifting themselves. And I definitely, I wish them all the best, whomever that individual may be. In Western culture, it is a common view that people associate sex and gender as a binary concept. And recent acts of hate crimes against the LGBT community in Whitewater were reported by police in the case of Jordan Grittens, where several unidentified males called him derogatory terms and proceeded to beat him. In a result of this incident, Whitewater responded when the Greek organizations on campus put together an event called Who I Am. The event was created as a visual sign of support for the LGBT community and several people wore solid color shirts to make a human rainbow. So the Greek students created this event 
where they could have a visual sign of support. So you could see whether it was on social media or whether it was um, in person that you could see all of these people are standing with you and there may be people out there who are violent and hateful or just ignorant and not acting in the way that we expect out of our community, but here are all these people who are standing with you. Cindy Conrad is a point person on campus for the LGBT community. She is here as a support person and resource for students and helps create programming and diversity learning initiatives. We've now instituted an LGBT lecture series um, and we also have other lecture series on um, that connect with different um, racial or ethnic identities. We have a women and gender lecture series. So we try to help people learn more about the issues that different groups face. Uh, so our response as a campus has really been ongoing and we really try to, um, we definitely react when something like this happens, but we also try to be proactive. UW-Whitewater provides students with the opportunity to be a part of organizations such as IMPACT, the LGBT, and Ally Org that does social and education events and promotes advocacy. Another group on a campus is BRIDGE, Being Real and Doing Gender Equality, which is a discussion group for students who are transgender, genderqueer, non-binary, or are questioning their identity. The university provides the Pride Center, which is a space where students have a safe, warm, comfortable environment to hang out or learn about sexual identities. UW-Whitewater continues to push for diversity and equality and ensure that the LGBT community enjoy the same freedoms as any other student and encourage all students to engage in learning about the issue. In the Pride Center, with our events and our space, we really welcome all students. So you don't have to identify as LGBT to come and learn and um, be support. I think a lot of us who are um, are really welcoming of LGBT people, don't necessarily get involved. Most people on campus are accepting and welcoming and great people. Um, but for those of us who are accepting and welcoming and great people, I love to see people get more involved and come out and show their support at events or in the Pride Center or different things like that um, so that our LGBT students and, and faculty and staff can see, like, look at, look at all these amazing people here. <laughs>